Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Air Frim Team. <laughs> Today we're reading for the collective. Hey collective. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. All right, let's get into it. This is a channel message. And the channel message is, where is it? They don't believe them about you. So <laughs> you have warned someone, this is a channel message, you have warned someone um, about like the dangers of just being foul, living foul, being, being negative or living in a negative way. This person didn't believe you and some things happen to them and it's kind of teeter-tottering on the line of supernatural. Um, now you made this person a believer. They are a complete, a complete believer in what that, whatever you do, you say, whatever, however, right now they're trying to get people because this person was talking about you in a, in a manner. Now they're trying to get people to truly believe what was said. So, um, so I'm hearing masculine energy was, you know, calling you all different types of things. You foul, you prostitute, just dumb shit, basically lies here um, because they have they have a underlying hatred for you. You did a return to sender, which connected beautifully. Um, and it started to put things in motion here. Now, when you did that return to sender, it caused a lot of uh, a string of catastrophic events in this person's life. Mm -hmm, it did. And it really spooked the hell out of this person. So this person feels like, okay, I, I truly believe what you're doing. I understand what you're doing. And now they're trying to spread the word that you are this like spooky, crazy type of individual. The thing about it though, is that this community of people, family, friends, however, whoever this person speaks with, they do not believe this person at all. So this person is now actually coming off as if they are crazy, okay? They're coming off as if they are crazy here. Um, we do have the Eight of Swords, okay? So someone is trapped in their mind because um, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> this person that has experienced whatever whatever has happened in a supernatural form, um, they are actually starting to question their sanity. Um, the people around them also are starting to question their sanity. We have caution here, okay? Now, the people that is around this individual balances in reverse, they are, they're a bit worried about the, the, the mental capacity of this person here. They truly felt, they truly feel like this person is going off the deep end here and there may be some form of intervention, like I'm for real, for real. There might be some form of an intervention to 302 this person. Um, if you don't know what 302 is, basically... Um, getting this person locked up in a psychiatric ward or something like that because they're watching this person and this person just doesn't seem like themselves at all. They're like, what's wrong with you? What's going on with you? But the person is um, going through a lot of um, identity changes here. Um, and then the wolf is also here. So it's like, no one believes me. No one believes what I'm saying. You know what i went through is true so yeah we have family and then we have the soul so it's like soul they don't believe this person they don't see this person as truthful it's like the boy that cried wolf this is where this is how this group of people sees this individual here then we have pond and eel so we have pond in reverse People are starting to look low beneath the layers of this person's identity and they're really starting to see this person lie. So now that this phenomenon phenomenon has started <laughs> or was created or initiated into this person's life, this person has lied so much on your name about you. Now that something has truly happened, no one believes them. And to be honest, like I said, people are shocked by this person's behavior here because they really truly feel like they're going off the deep end here. And I literally hear a congregation of conversations talking about, hey, we're going to have to come together. We're going to have to do some kind of an intervention here. And they are truly, seriously thinking about 302 and this person here because they're realizing this person is truly going off the deep end. Like, 
This person is afraid to come outside. This person is afraid to speak to other people. Um, this person is afraid to have conversations with people on the phone. Like they feel like their phone is tapped. They feel like somebody's watching behind their back. Like real, like mental instabilities going on here. The thing about it though is that they were calling you crazy. <laughs> They were calling you crazy. Identity is in reverse. They were trying to get people to portray you in a different way here. Oh, you crazy, you, you this, you that. People see you as calm. They see you as, as just chilling. And they see they see the real person that's going off the deep end. That's why I be telling y'all, um, sometimes you ain't gotta do something more. Sometimes you do, just do that return to Sunday. You ain't gotta do nothing else. Do that return to Sunday. And literally return all the energy back to them. And you see their whole life just crumble before their eyes. So you got to do. I'm telling you. And this is exactly what's happening with this person. Now their life is falling before them. Compassion is in reverse here. Somebody's going to transcend into lower into lower uh, vibrational um, places here. We have solitude in reverse. This person can't be by themselves. They are very afraid to be by themselves. They're afraid to sleep by themselves. They're afraid to be in a home by themselves here. Okay, what card is this? Yeah, we have um, the four of wands and then guidance. With your guidance of the, of a higher source here, you're, you're walking to the four of wands, so a celebration here. So while you're celebrating, you're creating celebrations for yourself. The person that did all this to you, they're getting a, a, a huge dose of their medicine. And that's just the icing on the cake, okay? There's a lot of other things, um, karma-wise, that are coming to this person. But it's going to be to the point where this person can no longer, they won't be able to take it. It's too, it's too burdensome. It's way too burdensome for this person here. We do have the tower here, okay? Like all, all that they have done and said about you behind your back or to you as well, um, people at one time did believe. Yes, that is the truth. They did believe them at one time. But they was talking about you so much in such an obsessive way. It, it started to raise the brows of the people that they were speaking to because it's like, well, how come every time you always talk about this person, but this person don't even talk about you? Don't mention you like you're just always talking about this person, right? So they kept on, they kept on, they kept kept on because that's how spirit works. Spirit gonna let you do what you need to do. You got free will, do what you gotta do. And they got the shock of they got the shock of their life. Letter is here. They got the, the message of shock of their life with something supernatural, something that you may only see or you know, may see in like uh movies like Final Destination, those type of movies, phenomenals and stuff like that. Something has occurred to this person, not once, but I'm hearing a slew or a string of supernatural things has happened to this person. And you, yeah, you, I see you, you literally set this person straight on the straight and narrow. I mean, to the point where they spooked, they won't even, they, they don't even, they, they, they are nervous of you. <laughs> they are scared of you. So they're going around telling people, oh, such and such, such and such, but because they, they, came to the same people with the information from before the store delivers information um and abundantly as well because seven plus one one plus seven is eight which is abundantly so they were spreading false information about you in such an abundant way that the group of people that they were having these conversations with and i hear meaningless conversation quote so means it was just a very one-sided conversation here that they just started to like not believe what these what this person was saying here and they just let them be. But now that the actual phenomena has happened, like I said, it was a, a string of it that has happened here. This person's going back to that same group <laughs> um, with more information, but they just don't believe it. It's just like, what's wrong with you? Like, you need to just, you need to chill out. Like, you need to leave this person alone. Unplug this here. So I really do feel like this person is going to be 302 to the point where authenticity is in reverse. This person is going to go off the deep end that she, she, she or he will be going to some kind of a mental asylum here because this person, when I say they are a danger, not only to themselves, but to other people around them. Okay, this person literally lives in their shadows. 
they're like stuck to their shadows. They don't know what the light side of anything is. All they do is just dark stuff here. So someone is in their head, they're in a maze within their head. They don't know what's real, what's not. And they are going off the deep end here because now they're trying to, they're trying to speak some kind of a truth here, but because they, they've been slandering you for so long, people are like, yo, you lying. Like ain't, that ain't going on with that person. They actually turned he or she actually turned a group of people away with rescue in reverse. The one is coming to your rescue. So this person truly feels like um, you have adventure and wisdom in reverse. They, they feel like they have to make it their mission to get their truth out. But judgment and shadow, all of their judgments is in within the shadow aspect of self. Like I said, I don't know anything about being li being light or being one with the light. So someone is in your head, adventure. They're going down a very deep, dark adventure that they're going to have a very hard time getting out of here. Okay, we have resistance. Giving and receiving. Hmm. Let's say reverse. Yeah, this person wasn't practicing reciprocity at all. Manifestations are shot because they self sabotage themselves. Dang. From the lion. And now that people don't believe this person is even pushing this person to a deeper edge or a deeper end, make it. Yeah, it's making this person very vulnerable, a, a, a very, very sore spot that they don't visit at all. They don't know how to be vulnerable. And um, that's what's exactly what's happening to them at this moment is that they're like being forced or stripped to be vulnerable, to see the errors of their way. And they don't like it. It's like, it's literally making them self-destruct. Like, seriously. Mm-hmm. Death. It's making this person self-destruct here. Like, how can you not believe me? I'm, I was, you know, yeah, I know I lied, but now I'm telling the truth. And it's like, it's the boy that cried wolf. Like, okay, whatever, you you, you lie so much. Like, we can't believe nothing that you say. And this is hurting this person. Treasure Island is in reverse. It is hurting this person to the sea. Clean it up. Yeah, they're not cleaning up this person's mess. They're sick and tired of it. The lies of the sea. Yay is in reverse. They're tired of cleaning up after this person's mess. <laughs> Deep knowing and go the distance here. Like this person is really going the distance to try to persuade them that what they went through was true. Like this supernatural phenomena type thing. Nobody believes them. And it's driving this person crazy. New life is in reverse. It is driving this person crazy that no one is believing anything that they said. That's karma, boo. Mm -hmm. Not for you is in reverse. Like, not for you, not for you. It's in reverse. Yeah. Somebody's establishing trust issues now, or they have trust issues because people are not listening to them. And they're like, but I told you, that's what happened. That's what happened. See, dreams come true is in reverse. <laughs> Somebody is burnt out or soon to burn out because they are really trying. <laughs> Time, moment, and miscarriage. Nobody believes them. Nobody, they think this person is a freak, like crazy off the deep end. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. This person is an attention whore, could be a friend. It's burnt out, stuck. They are stuck. They belong to the street, they're broke.
person can be very abusive in many ways. <sighs> mm. This is a mask when you're dealing with. Could have been a friends of benefit type situation. Okay, you don't have children with this person, which is good. So somebody was dealing with in the past was talking. Could be a Scorpio. Okay. Somebody was dealing with in the past here. Um, they they don't <laughs> they nervous, they scared, they just mm, they don't know. They don't know what to do. Like they plotting, they don't know, they, they plotting against the people that don't believe them. They trying to plot against you because you left them. Child, it's, a, it's too much. It's too much. All right, we have Libra and Jupiter in the 10th house. We have um, Mercury and Aries in the 11th house. See? Mercury, speaking, talking, communication, Aries, quick, fast, moving, in the 11th house, group setting. Somebody trying to come in quick. And they just don't believe this person. Fourth house in Leo and Jupiter. They don't believe this person at all. All right. So you could be done with the Aries. I said Scorpio. Scorpio again. A Taurus. Leo, I heard two more. Sag. Capricorn. All right. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time. Peace.